Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the long dark winter mute redux episode 2 with Gazbeard and we're in the hunting lodge at the end of Broken Railroad we've looted the place, we've left a stash of stuff over there that we can't take with us because we're just too heavily loaded and that includes a climbing rope which I've got a feeling is going to be a problem because I have a suspicion at some point in the very near future we're going to need that. Right, we've got the flare gun. We've got the bear spear, but the bear spear does not appear in your inventory. Where it actually appears is in your notes and letters part of your journal. There it is. And as long as it's in there, it's got no weight which is just as well because we are running at nine and a half kilos above our maximum carrying limit so we're going to tire very quickly we're going to be slower moving than we should be and it's getting already to late morning so we need to get a move on we've got to get back down to the engineering sheds get set up down there and do the forging to repair the bear spear now on the forging side of things um, we have got whoops we have got some forging skills have kicked up but only for the bear spear itself nothing for arrowheads or any other um, tools and we know we've got wolves out here so I'm going out crouched and I'm hoping that they're not right up against the hunting lodge itself well there's no, looks like they're both down on the lake chasing rabbits, which is good. If I stay crouched, there's rose hips there that I would like to pick, but I don't think we can afford the weight. Um, there's a note on the end of the steps here. The penmanship on this scrap paper seems out of place in this wilderness. I never really expected to be back here nor truly expected that you would be here either. But I had hoped, if you find this, know that I left something for you, hidden away from those who simply take what they will. Okay. Something hidden away. Oh, we left the note. I think we were supposed to take that. Um, right, that, I would... New objective, find the cache near the old hunting lodge in the Broken Railroad region. Oh, let's have a look at the map. So there's the... Oh, it's down here. It's down where those wolves are playing. Of course it is. Maybe it's further on. I think there's a cave back there. We might be able to dodge the wolves and find it. Um... But I also want to search these cars because we didn't get to search them before. Empty. Back seat's empty. Oh, the candy bar. Can of drink. That's just. That'll have kicked us past the 10 kilos over weight limit which is likely to become a problem but extra food that's not going to spoil or create a scent is good at this stage of the game let's quickly check out this pickup truck I don't see anything in the back I'm not getting any hints that there's anything under the snow well, look, nothing on the floor, not nothing in the glove box. So it looks like we're not going to get a revolver here unless it's in that hidden cache. Now, I'm going to have to use at least one flare to chase those dogs away because the hidden cache is down there somewhere. And where I think it's at is through there. So what I'm going to try and do is get across to the edge of the map. Oh, and there's another maple sapling there, look. Again, I want that. I 
I really don't know if we're going to get the opportunity to make bows and arrows. If it's going to give us the crafting recipe for it. But just in case it does, I want to be prepared and I want to have my goods uh, harvested to weigh me down. and cured. Yeah, the, and the wolves are singing. They're hungry. Obviously, those rabbits have not filled them. Now, if they're going to go across to the other side of the the pond, that'd be great. walk sideways because of the slope. And I could initially see the carcasses of the rabbits down here on this uh, slope with the yellow grass as we were coming down, but they've now decayed away. The wolves are going back up to the hunting lodge. That's fine. Now, we don't really need to collect those rose hips that I left up at the hunting lodge. We are carrying so many painkillers that we really do not need them. I mean, we're, we're swimming in painkillers in case we need them. Now, I did have to leave some of the bandages behind to try and drop our weight a little. Now, while we're out of sight of the wolves, let's have a quick cheeky look at the map see how we are so we're here we've got to get round to the other side of that hill okay and we are really slow because we're so overweight but as we get further down and we eat and drink a little bit we'll be able to drop our weight back under the 45 kilos because at 10 kilos past your carrying limit you really do get slowed down. You've got a wolf down there. Now, I th suspect there's a big fallen tree up here. I suspect that's where the cache might be. If not, it's going to be in the cave that's further down over there. I can't pick up any sticks. I'm already carrying 15 anyway. So I've got enough for a snow shelter if we need it. There's the cache. I suspected it would be by a fallen tree. Here it is. Ooh, nice. Um, we don't need the book. Aurora Hatch Door Entry Code. Deb, if you're reading this, it's because I've left the island and the last treatment didn't work. You're probably still out there somewhere in the woods doing what you've been doing. I always admired that about you, even if I didn't agree. Hopefully what's left of my old bunker can be of some use to you. Just because you hide doesn't mean you're lost. Remember that and this number, 0794. That will let you in. G. Okay, is it going to tell us where the hidden cache is? Locate the hidden bunker. See the map. Um, Forest Talker Supply Cash. We knew about those. Mystery Lake Supply Cash. We are here. There's no bunker on the map. Is it on over here somewhere, maybe? That's Mystery Lake. It's not showing anything on there. That's the musk egg. Cash there. There's a farm there. Aurora hatch. Okay, so that's up near the radio tower. Okay. So it is on the musk egg. Right, now we want to get out of this zone. What I don't know is whether or not the back route over there is still open. 
I would like to try that. Because that'll bring us out at the back of the engineering sheds where we can drop down into the yard without having to go through the woods and tangle with the wolves. It's a route that I use a lot in survival mode. And there's another maple sapling there. Good grief, they're spoiling us now. Um, I'd like to cross that tree bridge. I'm not sure that we can, though, looking at this end of it. I think we're going to have to use the slope if we're going to do anything. Where did that maple go? There it is. There's a dead deer down here. I just got a glimpse of it. There it is. And there's a, here's the cave I was talking about. Always good as a refuge. Oh, look at all this firewood in here. If we weren't so heavy laden, I would use that firewood and harvest this deer. Because carrying the, the deer skins, get them back, get them cured, would set us up for making skin clothes. As it is, I can take the feathers and nothing more, but we did find those mucklocks. That's good. And I'm not sure if the way through here is open or not. I'm hoping it is. Because it'd be nice to show you something that maybe you haven't seen if you've been playing along with me. This is a route that is often used in different survivor uh, games. Lots of sticks here which we can't pick up because those mucklucks will have put us seriously overweight. Our uh, calories and hydration are dropping quite quickly which is good because we'll be able to lose some of the weight by eating and drinking some of the heavier stuff very soon. And the wind's dropped. We're now into a sheltered zone which is hopefully going to let us pick up a bit of speed. And if everything's as normal down here, this should take us down to the wooden footbridge which is a part of the map that, like I said, a lot of people don't see. We've got something dead down here. It looks like a guy. Well, it's human anyway. I'm assuming it's a guy. I wonder if this is Deb. Or G. I see a birch sapling down there. That's good. Remembering we've got to get to the engineering sheds because we've got to reforge the bear spear spearhead. Now, have you got a key on you by any chance? Volvo cartridge and a can of lantern fuel. So it, the game is teasing us with all these revolver cartridges, but we're not getting a revolver. This is another reason for coming around here, because there may be dead people like that one, and one of them might have the revolver. We don't know. I know in the forums that a lot of people have said that they've not found it. Right, let's harvest that. And I am very, very glad that we did not bring... Jeremiah's rifle with us because we could not have afforded to be carrying its weight. Oh, 
and this is just a a nice pleasant walk on a sunny day through the snowy backfields of Broken Railroad. Once we cross the bridge we may come across a wolf. I know I keep referring to survival mode but that's where I've got most of my playing hours and there's often a wolf up there round the bend. Rickety footbridge, that's what it's called. There's the river down there. If I crouch for a moment, just round there is the uh, road bridge that we used to get up to the hunting lodge. And there's a, a gorge down there, look, that you can get down into and you can harvest cattails and stuff. You see a lot of them down there. We don't actually need them right now. We're carrying plenty of food to keep us going. Nor do we need these rose hips that we're coming up to here, or the old man's beard. So if we do end up for any reason having to come back to Broken Railroad, we've got all these supplies still here that we can pick up. And if we went through there and dropped down the cliffs over there, We'd come into the back of the woods behind the um, engineering sheds and we could find some deer carcasses that we could harvest. But we're coming down this way because we want to drop down as close as possible to the engineering sheds. And I think we still end up outside the fence, if I remember correctly. Um, but we end up very, very close to it. And I don't see any wolf down here yet, which is good news. I hear more crows. I don't see them yet. They're over there somewhere. There's one set of crows, but there's another set that away somewhere. Well, this is where we're going to drop down. There's a high risk. Oh, there's the other set of crows there. Look, which means there'll be a carcass or a body down there. Looks like there's a deer carcass down there. This is where we're going to drop down when I f when I find the right spot. Um, it is a very risky drop down this one and there's a good chance that we're going to sprain an ankle or injure ourselves now, would, you, looking at that you would think there's no way you're going to get down there guys and you're probably right but we'll try it any ouch <coughs> Minor bruising and torn clothing. Well, that was quite a drop. We did well to get down there without actually injuring ourselves. Torn clothes I'm not worried about. We'll fix them up once we're in the engineering sheds. Like I said, there's a a deer carcass here and I'm, you notice I'm not touching them or inspecting them that's because if I do it will start an accelerated decay on them as long as I don't touch them then they will be there if we come back again it's one of those little peculiarities in the game mechanics I'm trying to stay close to this cliff wall because that way I only have to worry about a hemisphere of threat from the wolves rather than a full circle around me. And I'll probably do the same once I get to the fence unless I can find a way to climb over and drop down into the yard. Little bits of the terrain have been changed since the update to Wintermute Redux. 
um, areas of the map that I did know before are no longer the way that I knew them. So I'm having to check pretty much everything. Right, now there should be a way to get down here. That's a, again, that's a pretty steep drop there. So is that one. In survival mode, I would go for it. Um, here in Wintermute, I'm not sure how it's going to play. Ooh, don't fall over the edge. Hmm. I'm not sure that's going to be a wise drop. This one's smaller. There's the door to the, the shed there. Checking around, there's no wolves here. We got down safely. That's two drops that we've managed. I'm not sure our luck's going to keep holding out doing that. But um, I'm pleased that it has so far. Right, so we're going to be spending a couple of days here. And we have been spending far too much time indoors. If this was survival mode, I would be starting to really worry now about getting cabin fever. I'm not sure it applies in story mode. In winter mute. So we'll have to um, just keep an eye on it. Right, now, I left this place all prepped up. We've got a stash of spare clothing here. Um, we actually left some better pieces up at the hunting lodge, but... Never mind. Um, right, we were stashing food around here. So let's do that. Let's put the flare gun away. We don't need it out while we're in here. Now, that... Green maple sapling has cured. We'll put it down there. First thing we'll do, so we don't forget, is we'll drop these three. And that birch sapling. And I just dropped something I didn't want to drop there. Yeah, some of those patches. Okay, so. Because we're going to be here for a while, we'll want to get all of these on here to cure. Come on, get on there. There we are. And put that one in there as well. Right, now, we've got a mountain of food on us. Need to drop a bunch of that as well. So, let's have a look. Oh, four boxes of crackers, good grief. Right, well, let's drop three of those for now. And... See how tightly we can pack them at the back of the bench. Oh, right. What else are we going to drop? Um, got that good tin of beans, which is heavy. Got that MRE, which is heavy. Um, We've got all these cans of soda, which we're going to need to drink. That's a pretty weak tin of pork and beans. Um, hold on to the sodas for a second. Uh, right, let's... Oh, that's dog food, that one. Um, we'll put the dog food there. 
Bones, Pork and Beans. Same as those two. The MRE go there. I'm sure I found a jerry can of... Oh, I found two jerry cans. There they are. Right. Okay. Um... We'll just keep the sodas on us for now because we're going to drink them and in fact I'm going to drink that one there right now. Okay, uh, let's have a look at those muck looks we found. 83% condition. 2.1 warmth, 1.7 windproofing, 40% waterproofing, 5% protection, slows us down 3% and weighs 1.5 kilos. 2.3, 1.8, 45, and 3. So, these trail boots are actually better. If, well, it might be because they're in 10% better condition. Um, but they are lighter. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop those muck locks out here. Uh, we'll put them at the end of the bench there. Uh, that might stop him puffing and panting and wheezing, gasping. Like a lot of gear. We'll leave them there for now. Um, what else have we got that we can drop just to, to lose the weight? Um, well, we don't need to be carrying that flashlight around with us right now, so we'll leave that down there. Um, I mean, really, things like our hatchet and hacksaw and stuff, we, we don't need to be carrying that either. Um, will that fit in there? No, it won't. We'll fit behind the lantern though. Put it slightly to one side so that we can see it when we're standing here. Right. Um, 42.54, slowly dropping our weight. Um, while we're staying inside, we don't need to be carrying our bedroll around. So I can leave that here for now. Must not forget this when we leave. Right, and we're just about out of time. We've got about two minutes left. So last check on our weight, 41.54. We're getting there. Got a few bits and pieces that I can probably drop. Um, don't really have to. All we need to do is feed up, um, get well fed, get well watered, and then we can start the forging pretty much straight away. Um, we're not tired. It's coming up to dark though, and I'd prefer to do the forging in daylight. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the video here. In the next video, we'll do the forging at the forge over here in the corner. Um, how much coal have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got just enough coal to do it. I'm hoping that scrap metal is enough. Did I bring an extra piece with me? No. So I'm going to have to cut something up to get a few bits of extra scrap metal just in case. Um, there's a couple of trolleys lying around, cut them up, or some of those um, wood shelving. I'll do that off video, just use the hacksaw and decide to break down it, and it harvests the same way as it harvests wood and saplings and stuff. So I'll get all the, the supplies ready for the next uh, video, and we'll have them stashed here, the heavy hammers here to do the, the forging of course. 
and we'll then be able to get on with it and get that done and we've also got that um, cache over here at the back of the yard the forest talker cache to locate and when we're on our way back through to the muskeg we've got to find this cache which we might have to do anyway because there's a path down here across the tree bridge loop round get the cache come back and up this slope because obviously we've got the rail blockage here the landslide that stops us going along the railway so not much exciting happening today we dodged a few wolves we found um, a supply cache we also found that note of course um, showed you the back route we gathered a load of saplings we've got four maple saplings now and a birch sapling we'll probably get a lot more birch saplings going back through the muskeg um, at least we'll have the saplings for making bows and arrows even if we don't have the recipes for doing it so we'll have to see what we can do about that and how to get it I, th I have a suspicion if we call in at the hunters blinds in the muskeg we may well find the books for the recipes to do it so for now from me the gasbeard back in the engineering sheds on broken railroad in winter mute redux as always it's not going to be a good bye from me it's just going to be a quick bye for now hit that subscribe button give the video a like leave your comments and questions down below and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching